Greetings and salutations, MegaWizard79 here with another episode of Sif, the Shield Maiden of Skyrim. Uh, so in our last episode, we went to Rorikstead and uh, yeah, we completed, um, uh, uh, so far we've completed two fourths of um, Sanguine's questline. And uh, we are also here to basically complete another day left before it spoils we've got to sell as much as we can as soon as we can that's what you always say <laughs> because it's always true can we at least go to the tavern for supper uh, and to think i was going to feed you cabbages and apples again yes little fairy we can go to the tavern for supper Yay! <laughs> That's adorable. Anyway, but yes, uh, we are also here to complete, uh, since we're talking about the tavern, this quest line. Which is really, really easy. But I probably should have done the sanguine thing. Or, actually, wait, no, she's. Local favorite and one of the first songs I ever uh, tired again? Uh, nah, screw it, whatever. Once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from Old Warwick Stead. And the braggart did swagger and brand. Any news of the Alakir? What? How? I thought they weren't allowed within the city. But where will I go? I can't keep running forever. After all this, I have to pick up and leave again? If you really think this is the only way, I trust you. Let's not waste any time. See you around. Okay. No more. What is ugly red head rolled around the floor? <laughs> I like that song. Sorry, I butchered it in that last second. Anyway, alright, so while she's heading off to there, we're just going to go talk to uh, the other one over here. There's been talk amongst the gods that you are Dragonborn, but such a thing, surely that's not possible. So, you're finally back. Look, I've been patient, but you still owe me. It's not about the money, really. I wouldn't have given you the wedding ring on credit if you weren't so obviously in love. But if there isn't going to be a wedding, the least you can do is give the ring back. That was one of my best pieces. You went right out to give it to your fiancé. Don't you even remember where you left him? And after you told me that sweet story of how you met in Witchmas Grove, I can see why he left you. Ouch. <laughs> How could you forget? It was the sweetest story I'd ever heard. You met at the full moon, under the biggest tree in the Witch Mist Grove, surrounded by fireflies. It was straight out of a storybook. Okay. I'm sure your bride-to-be will tell you when and where the ceremony will be. If she still wants to marry you when you tell her you can't afford the ring. <laughs> Farewell. Alright, so gotta go to Witch Grove. Yep, find the ring. Alright, so. Let's see. It's, uh, yep, right here. Okay, good. We can just go straight from Windhelm there. Perfect. That's easy enough. Yep, I'm hungry again. There we go. All right. Okay, so this should be easy enough. 
Um, after this, then we just go straight to, um, like, the last location is gonna be, if I recall, um, it's supposed to be, um, like, there's a fortress, um, I wanna say it's somewhere over here, in this particular region, which means I'm probably gonna, yeah, that means I'm gonna have to go to, um, no, nah, no, nah, I should be fine. I, I don't think I'll get that cold. Hopefully. <laughs> yes, I know just what you mean. My toes are numb from the cold. Okay. Yep, oh, here she comes. Right on cue. We meet at last, my dear lady. What is this? What have you done? Oh, come now. You didn't really expect to manipulate people forever, did you? Your luck had to run out sometime. Boom. And she's paralyzed. <laughs> Now we'll take our friend here back to Hammerfell, where she will pay the price for her treason. Not on the way back. Once she gets there, it's not up to me to decide what's done with her. And as for you, I owe you a portion of the reward, don't I? Well, here you go. Spend it wisely, and if I may, don't allow yourself to be fooled by a pretty face. You're better than that. I love this guy. So yeah, so he gives you 500 gold. Um, what do you call it? At higher levels, he actually gives you like soul gems and stuff too. But uh, since I'm only doing this at 20, he only just gives me gold. She sold the city out to the Aldmeri Dominion. Were it not for her betrayal, Tanith could have held its ground in the war. The other noble houses discovered her betrayal, and she fled. We want her brought back alive. The resistance against the Dominion is alive and well in Hammerfell. And they want justice. Mm hmm. Ah, goes to show ya. Don't turn your back on your countrymen. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. <laughs> oh, steady old girl. Alright, off we go. Off to Windhelm. Hmm. You know, I might do that quest later. That mask is pretty sweet. Mostly just for, you know, convenience sake in regard to money. Alright, and of course now I'm, oh boy, I'm exhausted, hungry, and tired. All the good stuff, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. Okay, that'll do that. Alright, Queen Elsie here. Let's go. So I need to get there fast to get out of this blasted cold. Whoopsie. Yeah, sugar. Yeah, whatever. That's uh, iron. Or quicksilver. I, I'm pretty sure it's iron, though. Alright. Fortunately, the location we're going to is actually pretty warm. Whoops, I came the wrong way. <laughs> I didn't mean to come here. There we go. See? Told you. Nice and warm. Because of the hot springs. Yeah. 
Now, be warned, um, the place I'm going to has a hag raven. Hmm? The heck? Yep. That's right. The dragon's here now. Anyway, so... I'll just park Alcia right here. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh boy. I'm going to be dealing with a... Okay, I want that on. She mostly does fire damage, if memory serves, so... Yeah. Probably want healing magic. Alright. Yep. There she is. Ugh. Darling, I've been waiting for you to return, to consummate our love. Uh. What? You want it for that hussy Esmeralda with the dark feathers, don't you? I won't let her have you. Eh, she hasn't done damage to me, so... Uh, let me see... Do I have any... I think she's a common soul? Okay, let's see. Yes, she has a common soul. Cool. Wow, she... She did no damage to me. That's, uh... <laughs> That's weird. I figured she would do more damage to me than that. Uh, let's see. Where is... Eat that. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I recall... <laughs> it was all floating. Ugh. Ah, there we go. I knew she had a book in here. Uh... Okay. Cool. Now, uh, let's see. I think she also has a chest somewhere. There it is. Not a very profitable chest, but a chest nevertheless. Ugh. God. Consummate our love. Ugh. Just the thought of that makes me hurl. Anyway. Oh, really? Sh sugar. Oh, well, whatever. Let's just get the hell out of here. Uh, how many jazz grapes does that make so far? I have eight. Yep, I already grabbed from the cluster. Mm. Yep, yeah, here's some more. Yeah, I, I need to grab 20 of these. So, since I'm in the area... I may as well, right? <laughs> Sorry, but... It, again, like I said, it's for a quest and... Man, that dragon. 
I mean, it's all the way over there, but man, that dragon is loud and whoa, glitchy, glitchy, glitchy. Okay. <laughs> Some more. That makes eleven. But yeah, he's all the way up there. Um, no. Hmm? Didn't think he was that close. <laughs> Gonna be honest. Uh, no. Ah, it's just an ordinary dragon, huh? Eh, may as well, right? I don't know what the heck he's fighting. I think it's that goat, probably. Yeah, I think he's fighting a goat. <sighs> oh, now he's coming for me. Where's my... Because he can insta kill me at any point. There we go. Oh dear. There we go. Whew. Good dog. And, uh, yeah, good on you, too. Yay! Let's see. Which shout do I want now? So many choices. Ooh, Whirlwind Sprint. That's actually a very... Oh, that's right. I should get that one. Uh, I'm afraid of getting this one just because this is a very, very powerful shout. <laughs> but it's such a good shout. Uh... It's a really good shout. Uh, let's see, but a whisper revealing the life forces of. Oh, and this is. Oh, this is also very useful. Hmm. Oh, these are all good choices, really. Well, except for Kind's piece. That one's yeah, whatever. And it has a forty-second recharge timer. Ah, oh, that's that's rough. Hmm. I kind of want this one just because I know where I'm going. And this would be so useful. Uh. That's a very useful shout. But this one's so powerful. Hmm. It's not fair. I want them all. I'm gonna have to go dragon slaying at some point to get all this. Um, Alright, uh, I really would like Whirlwind Sprint, just because it's a really useful shout, but... I'm gonna go with this one. Hmm? Dragon souls are required. Uh, yeah, I have a dragon soul. Oh, right, 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 I have to... There we go. <laughs> Okay, I'll take 
I'll take all this. We've stopped. What is it? I am sworn to carry your burdens. Yes, you are. I'm so glad she can carry so much. There we go. Oh, did she actually equip it? No, she didn't. I thought she did. Leave All right, then. let's go. All right, I'll just some more jags grapes. It's more. Yeah, it's funny. There should be a. If I recall, there's supposed to be like a flame astronaut somewhere around here. Maybe I'm misremembering. Oh well. Alright, let's see. So that's where it is. And my horse should. Yep, there you are. Good girl. You stayed put just like I wanted you to. Alright. Um, how many jazz grapes does that make so far? Uh, I still need a few more, but that'll do for now. Don't need making this entire episode this. <laughs> Oh, I already grabbed those. <laughs> Alright, but I just need six more. So that shouldn't be too difficult. I'll just whoop, make that five more. Like, these things aren't that difficult to find. I mean, usually if you, if you can find the creep vine, then you can find those. Yeah, see? There's another one. There's another one. Again, sorry for wasting so much time on this, but th th this is kind of useful. Mostly like just because I want to, I want to, you know, just do that quest for her just because I always do that quest for her and she's a very nice woman uh, that and also uh, she um, what's the word um, uh, she it, it, it's just really good it's really beneficial to me to be on her good side um, because if I recall I want to say she's a master alchemy trainer All right, let's head back to town. Oh. Boop. 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 Okay, I think that should do it. 20 on the nose. Nice. That makes me happy. Yeah, there's, there's just so many of them. Man, just look at that. Look how fast I get cold. But that's also because, I mean, technically I was in the rain and all that stuff, so, yeah. Oh, well. Anyway. Alright, so, we'll just head back to Whiterun. I have to get off my horse so I can talk to the guy. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climbing back and we'll be off. I can't wait here forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, you can, as a matter of fact. You can totally wait here forever. Okay. Yep, there we go. Alright, so, first things first... Okay, yep, that satisfied me. 
But yes, first things first, I need to go find a bed. I went so many hours without sleep. I also like to note that I did not use a single potion <laughs> in that fight against the dragon. Granted, of course, he was just an ordinary dragon, so... It's not like I was fighting, like, a fire dragon or an ice dragon, but still, it's... It's these little victories that matter. But, yes, first things first. Well, actually, no, first things first. She's right there. Let's just give her the ring. Once I've made enough money trading with the Kuji... Excellent. Sorry it didn't work out. I know how excited you were for the wedding. You kept saying it would be a huge ceremony at Morvenskar. You said you even had some magic staff that would handle all of the guests. Okay. Now, yeah, let's see. Morvenskar... Uh, that it? Oh, yeah! Wow, it's actually... Wow. It's a hop, jump, and a skip away from Windhelm. Isn't that nice? But yeah, I knew it was like in that... General... Geography. I mean, I know I said it was, like, a few miles west of that, but still, I, I was close. I was close. First things first. I mean, <laughs> my character needs sleep. <laughs> there we go. Now we're well rested, and I'm peckish. Mm. Okay, good. I didn't. Yeah, that that was raw meat. I just ate. That, that that's bad. That would have uh, that could have given me food poisoning. Right. Let's just. Uh... There we go. Cabbage cabbage stew is cheap and easy to make. Oh boy. Alright, just making sure. Okay. Um May as well. Hey, there we go. Used it all up perfectly. Nice. Alright, let's go. Uh, I am going to have to unlock. Uh, Alright, I guess I'll do it at Windhelm. Because at least they have an outdoor... Uh, uh, what sucks though is that basically I'm going to have to go to sleep over there. So I'm not exhausted when I get over to... Yeah, that's, that's just a given. That's just how it's going to work. Unfortunately. How much money do I have anyway? Eh, okay, man, I guess. Let's see, I'm gonna want that on, because I have to unload some things. Need a ride? I can take it. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar, the red who came riding to right run from old Rory. I'm glad that basically me just paying 20 gold basically covers the entire fare. Like, everyone's... <laughs> I mean, in lore, I assume they're, I'm paying for the dog and, um, Iona. Okay. Okay, cool. I'm not tired yet. I am pro- there we go. Take care of the food. Alright, let's just hurry up. If I'm lucky, I'll run into the beggar so I can uh, sell even more things. If not, screw it. My own 
Hallefrost farm outside the city. It's honest work. It's funny that he owns a farm outside the city, but you s but you mostly see him coming from the city. Like it's like I think he yeah he like spends the night at Candle Keep. Horses all day long. Okay. I've been meaning to speak to you, Naranya. Rumor is you've got ties to the Thieves Guild. Fresh fruit and vegetables One should never for sale. pay too much attention to rumors, Torbjorn. You have piqued my curiosity, however. Please, do continue. It's a bad time to be a criminal, what with these murders going on. In fact, thieves have been known to kill if there's a profit in it. This war's been hard on all of us. Not that I'd know anything about it, of course, but it seems to me that the last thing a thieves' table. guild would want is to draw attention to itself. The eyes of the law are everywhere these days. The guards are looking for a killer, but who knows what else they might turn up. Good day. <laughs> Take home wind helms. I'm still here. Yep, now I'm tired. How can I serve you, my friend? And there they go, arguing about the tools again. Okay. Anything I want to put on her? Uh. Yeah. Hold on to these pelts for me, for the time being. Alright. Lead on then. Just go over to this guy. Where, knives, I didn't goods touch it. Home. All at reasonable um, prices. I've been a bit out of sorts since since our daughter was. You need anything? Price. Come see me. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Take that. Now, what do you have to sell me? Uh, let's see. Take those. Take that. Uh, a little more. There you go. Okay. Uh. Mm, yeah. Nothing else I want. Ooh, this is actually pretty good, but that'll cost me all my money. Yeah. All right, we're good. Be sure to stop by Sadri's used wares in the Great Quarter. Okay. All right. So, um, the place we're going to be going to—it's a um, sorcerer's den. Um, let's see. I'll wear that one just because I'm pretty sure. At least one of them is going to be doing lightning. Alright. Okay, and there it is. Alright, so... Let's 
see. How do I get? Yep. I gotta hurry. Well, it's not really gonna be that hard. I just have to go this way. Okay, it's just visual. Okay, we're good. Oh yeah, fun little fact about the vigil. Um, they can actually um, cure you of uh, diseases and stuff. So if you're out in the wilderness and you need a restore, I mean, and you need it like a like a simple way to, I mean, like yeah, like a, a cheap and efficient way to just. Oh, uh, yeah, see? Here's some more. Um, but, yeah, if you need a cheap and efficient way to just basically, uh, get rid of that disease without, you know, going to a temple or using a potion, uh, then there you're... Then, you know, those are the folks you want to run into. Uh, they're just rare enough that they don't, um, undermine the whole shrine and, uh... Okay... So there's no nice way of doing this, you just go in and just start hacking and smacking and slashing and I triggered a trap, but it was a very ineffective trap because it didn't hit me at all. Damn it, Miko. Will I now? will help myself to pretty much everything they have on them just because I have my traveling suitcase <laughs> I feel bad though calling her that but honestly that's that's basically what she is for all intents and purposes there we go oh okay Hmm. Wow. Wow. Uh, someone was having a party. <laughs> anyway. Now, oddly enough, if, uh, I feel like it's easier to assault this place during the day than it is at night. Um. But I also usually come here at kind of higher levels, too. So there's usually, like... Astronauts and stuff like that. I mean that they're conjuring of course, but since all we're facing are just you know the losers <laughs> if you will Let's See yes to everything Okay Now I will not sleep out here because I know there are beds inside and that'll be much warmer. Alright. Let's see. Just double checking. Yeah, that's the only way in. Oop, what, what do we got here? Yes! Yes! That's the good stuff! <laughs> Lots of salt to replenish my supplies. That's what I like to find. Okay. Um. Uh, Map. Okay. Entire place is basically explored, so uh, let's go inside, shall we? Warm up. Warm up these bones. <laughs> okay. So. Now, from this point onward... Someone there. Yep. Thus. 
Okay, so there's two guys there. Yeah, because one of them's working on a forge, which is like over there somewhere. Okay, this is food. Alright, I think he's coming up in a sec. Over here! We're good. Ooh, a human heart. Those are pretty rare. Alright. See what we got here. Nothing there. Ooh, thank you. I will take all of this. Here's a comfy bed. Realistically, I probably should use. Man, there's a. L My god, look at this! These guys are blasted! Like, they are. Like, th th this is like. <laughs> they're not tipsy, they are drunk! <laughs> Off their ass! <laughs> Um, okay, so this is the way you come back around. Oop, sorry, I thought this was the one that you come back around. Because there is a door here. Where it, um... If you, uh, do a full circle here. Alright. Let's see what else we got here. And uh, not important. Ah, nice. Thank you. Uh, that's empty. That's empty. That's just Nordic mead. I want ale, actually. Oop. Salmon. Ooh. There we go. Alright. I don't really need to cook anything right now. Um, regular salmon. Cool. It's good to get all these ingredients. Now, should I realistically be grabbing this stuff from a place that's disgusting? No. Ah, here we go. This is the door I'm talking about. This one's blocked because you have to go all the way around. Now, there is a little gimmick with this place where... Um, I mean, I'll show you when we get over there. Dear God. These guys are drunk. Like, they are drunk! They are 100% heat in this, that's for damn sure. There we go. Alright. Okay, so. Alright, so over there is the most dangerous enemy in this entire frickin' area, I kid you not. This place is a frickin' hornet's nest. Okay. Yeah, the thing that makes this place absolutely deadly is that there is a high-level mage over here. Usually a master, but at this level, I don't think it's a master. Oh, it's a straight-up wizard. Yeah, that's a wizard! Mm. 
Okay. <laughs> Good on ya. There we go. Woo! Yeah. This lady right here. Most dangerous freaking thing in this entire dungeon. You saw how she almost murdered me so fast. Okay. But we came, we saw, we conquered. Oh boy, though. Just barely. Just freaking barely, though. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now, uh, there is a portal over there. Mm, which, uh, triggers. So, the funny thing about that portal is that it triggers if you go up there or you get to too close to that chest. <laughs> Wabajack. Okay. Eh, over encumbered. That's fine. Got my. Ooh, I like that book actually. That one's one of my favorites. Let's get going. I met your command. Uh, there you go. Hold Let's on to go. those. Okay, so we've pretty much killed everyone here. But yeah. Whoop. Yep, there it is. See? It opened up. Uh, but yeah, so the thing for that portal. Um, yep, there's the chest. As long as you don't get too close to that portal, you're good. Take all that. Uh, but yeah, like I said. Um, if you go to reach for that chest, the portal triggers. Uh, watch out for that. That's a trap. I think. I knew it. Care of her. So yeah, there's still a ton of people in here. Oh, so many books. Prefer not to die, thank you very much. My goodness, I forgot how many books are in this damn place. Alright. Okie doke. Okay. Uh, There's, uh, interestingly, an am- Ooh, there you are. Uh, but yeah, interestingly, there is an a uh, there is a shrine to Debella here. Okay. Hmm. Ah, the sweet smell of burnt. 
You nothing better, really. No! No! Hello, potent paralysis potion. Ha, <laughs> nice. Yeah, I figured as much. Let's get going. How can I serve you, my thane? I need you to carry the most important thing. The books. <laughs> I need you to carry all the books. Because I'm going to get more. <laughs> so many more. Lead on then. Okay, that opens that up. That. Now there's nothing really on these guys except just money usually. And bone meal, of course, as you would expect. All right. Yeah, this uh, this this guy's a real piece of work. He's a complete douche, if you ask me. All right. But yes, there are so many books, and I will save them all. Because we've already taken care of everything. The only thing that's left is just to go and actually get our reward. Okay. And this is just to show you where the, um... Yep. Here we are. And Sim Sim Salabim! It's like magic. Ah... <laughs> uh... If any of you can guess that reference, by the way, congratulations. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, um... Oh, come on, come on! Alright, gotta hurry, though. I am wasting a... Uh, I don't want to take too, too long. Okay... Let's get going. I'm at your command. All right. Take that. Take that. Uh, take that for now because I don't need it. There we go. Let's go. Okay, and let's see. Nothing in here. I know there's a whole bookshelf over here, and I'm taking them all. Anything in here, though? No. Alright. So, this is the last bit of looting I'm gonna do, because like I said, that one chest is off limits, because... Uh, even if I go for it, it'll just immediately teleport me out of here. So, I'm just gonna take all these books, and then I'm going to go and... have a talk with Sanguine, and uh, that'll be the episode. Ooh, that's the Horker one. And we're done. There we go. I came. I saw. I liberated. Tons and tons of books. All right, well, let's get out of here. To Mist Grove. It's a very beautiful place. I mean, look at that. Makes you feel like you're underwater. It's so weird. And here we are. Yes. Hi. You're here. I was beginning to think you might not make it. You're here. I was beginning to think you might not make it. 
I thought you might not remember your first trip here. You had a big night. I think you've definitely earned a staff. Damn straight! Oh, the Hagraven feather and so on. You can throw all those out. You see... I really just needed something to encourage you to go out into the world and spread merriment. And you did just that. I haven't been so entertained in at least a hundred years. <laughs> so this was all a prank. <laughs> just a prank? Just a prank? The Daedric Lord of Debauchery does not deal in mere pranks. This may have begun as a minor amusement, but it wasn't long before I realized you'd make a more interesting bearer of my not-quite-holy staff. Nice. Let's be honest here. I don't always think my decisions through, but you, you're going places. <laughs> Maybe a little influence from your old Uncle Sanguine could help adjust your course a bit. My pleasure, but I think it's time for you to go. No fun keeping you locked up in here with the staff. Okay, and now that I have this, uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm just gonna go and put the uh, astronaut one away. Cause I don't need it anymore, and hey, thanks, Sanguine. Ragnar the Red. Oh, there once was a hero. I forgot that he, uh, I forgot that he teleports you all the way back to where you, uh. Wow, this is very. Okay, uh, I just need you to hold on to more books. <laughs> just. <laughs> all the books just hold on to all of them I'll uh, organize them when we get back home there we go all right lead on then okay well um so, uh, that'll the uh, that'll do it for this episode and but man this is quiet <sighs> Sorry, it's just, god damn it, it's hard to talk when these guys are singing. Anyway, but yeah, <laughs> this was a humdinger, humdinger of an episode, if I do say so myself. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's Sanguine's questline. It's uh, pretty fun, to say the least. And uh, for all that nonsense, <laughs> you get this thing. Which is amazing. Here, I'll show you. Watch. It's so much fun. Look at that. I can summon a Dremora! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> At level 20, I have a Dremora. Oh my goodness. Oh. And what's really fun about this thing is that it actually scales with you. Um, the higher level you are, you can actually get all the way up to Jamora. Um, you get higher than Jamora Lord. You can actually summon higher than Jamora Lord with this thing. And, and, this is something that I just learned. It benefits from this stuff. Like the summoner, the atromancy, the the elemental potency. It it it, 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 <laughs> it this thing is amazing. Like it is such a cool staff. And look, see, look at that. Oh my god! But yes, that's why I'm gonna be retiring the fire astronaut staff because I got this bastard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, uh, until next time, though, this is MegaWizard79 bidding you all adieu.